Praise the Lord, blessed viewers. My name is Pastor Gabelon Tebe, and we're going to talk about false prophets. It is important to note that we are living in a time of deception. It is a time of the great falling in the church. Our Lord Jesus warns us of these false prophets. In Matthew chapter 7 verse 15, he says, Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. Ask yourself a question. What is the reason for you to go to church? Yes, our Lord Jesus said, the Bible says that do not forsake the gathering of the brethren. But what is the reason for you to go to church? Is it because of miracles? Is it because of healings? Is it because of prosperity? Then you are a candidate of deception. The Bible says, watch out for false prophets. They come to you dressed in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. Meaning, they come to you dressed in holy attires. They come to you with a tie and a suit, a holy attire, which you cannot tell with the naked eye that that is a false prophet. It takes a spirit of discernment to identify and see a false prophet. 1 John chapter 2 verse 20, he says, But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and all of you know the truth. You have an anointing. That anointing speaks to you. He is the one who tells you which way to go. You have an anointing from the Holy One. And you know the truth. The Bible is emphasizing on the truth. He says, put on the belt of truth. The importance of a belt is that it keeps your pants from falling. It is so important. It is so vital. And the Bible said, take up the belt of truth. Take up the belt of truth. We have so much falsehood in the time that we are living in. That is why somebody can come to you and say, I see God is going to give you a house. I see God is going to bless you with a car. They speak their own minds. It is not the mind of God. And it takes a spirit of discernment to identify and see a false prophet. So he says, watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. This tells us that inwardly they have other, their own agendas. They have their own motives. They have built their own ministries. It is not the ministry of God. No, God is not there. He's not part of that ministry. They're building their own things in the name of God. The Bible said the devil disguises himself as an angel of light. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, inwardly they are ferocious wolves. Verse 19, every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and is thrown into the fire. So we understand the final destination of these false prophets. It is the lake of fire, the fire of hell. There is a judgment which is awaiting them. We need to pray and ask God, Lord, deliver me from false prophets. Deliver me from every evil. Because they are trying to drag you where they are going. They are not hearing from God. God is not speaking in that place. But they are speaking in his name. He says, thus by their fruit you will recognize them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my father, who does the will of my father, meaning that work is not a man established work. It is established by God and God is there with power. God is there speaking. It is not a man established thing. So the Bible said, 
Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of God. Only he who does the will of my father. Those false prophets are not in the will of God. They are not in the will of God. God is not there. I want to take the scripture and marry it with Jeremiah 23, 16. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Do not listen to what the prophets are prophesying to you. They fill you with false hopes. They speak visions from their own minds, not from the mouth of God. They are earthly bound. These prophets are earthly bound. They have established their own ministries. They can come to you and say, I see God is going to bless you with the house. The more they do that, you fall more in love with this world. You're not falling in love with God, but you are falling in love with the things of this world. Jesus says, do not love the things of this world. Why are they prophesying the things of this world? Why is it the center of their message are the things of this world? When Jesus says, be careful where your love is. Because I am not of this world. We are not of this world. We are of the kingdom of God. We are not of this world and our eyes are not supposed to be earthly bound. We are supposed to be kingdom bound, heaven bound, heaven focused. I am just passing by through this world. That is what we must understand. We are just passing by. We are not citizens of this world. We are staying here. Yes, we are staying here, but our citizenship is in heaven. Jesus says, Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? And in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles. Oh, may the Lord deliver us from this. Because the false prophets, the Bible says they are performing many miracles. They are casting out demons in the name of the Lord. It is not in their own names. It is not in the name of the devil. They are coming in the name of the Lord. May the Lord establish and ground us in discernment. Verse 23, then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Jesus will stand up and say on the day, I never knew you. Not that I once knew you, I never knew you. Meaning that prophet, that false prophet, when they were here on earth, they didn't have a connection with Jesus Christ. And if they didn't have that connection, according unto the scripture that says, I never knew you, why were they prophesying in the name of the Lord? They were building their own ministries, building their own kingdoms while here on earth. Jesus says, I never knew you. There was never a connection between God and that false prophet. May the Lord deliver us from this false prophet. May God deliver you from these false prophets. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless you.